Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Pastor Frank Demora, and today is January the 15th of 2018. You're at my BibleProphecyMan.com site you see right before you. And when you scroll down, you'll see my book, The Last Chronicles of Planet Earth. It's a documentary on Bible prophecy and current events you can get today for free. Now, I'm going to just discuss very quickly today as I scroll down to get to one of the posts that I put up recently that had to do with the birds, the fish, and the animals dying off. You can see this in Hosea chapter 4 verses 1 through 3. Very briefly, in a nutshell, we're told in the last days, look at this, the beast of the field, the birds of the air, and the fish of the sea are dying. One of the last day signs, birds, fish, animals dying off in mass numbers. Now, if you've been coming to my site, every time that there is a new report, and there are literally thousands of these reports, and I documented every single one of these that we've been able to find, and I've put them in my book, probably for the last seven or eight years, thousands of these birds, fish, and animals dying off. Now, just a few days ago, I posted all of the newest ones that came down. As you see, I'm scrolling down. You could do this when you get to my site. That was up until November 2018. 28 whales dead after stranding on the beach, Victoria, Australia. Now I'm going to go over to my other site for a second. This is my End Times Research Ministry site. I have two prophecy sites. People like the different formats and they can go to either one. And I'll have the same information at either one of my sites. But let me scroll down here. And again, you see the listings. Now, this is going from December, but I get into 2020 to January 6th to 2020. And you'll see 1, 2, 3 for January 6th. Now, since then, there's been two other headlines that have come across the desk here. And I want to now give you that information because the birds, the fish, and the animal is a last day sign. And we need to be paying attention to the signs of the times like Jesus commanded us to do. So I've taken you now to the site for January the 6th. You see it right here. Bulgaria announces plans to slaughter 24,500 pigs in swine fever outbreak. Rutgers reports that the outbreak is the first at an industrial farm since August when the virus hit six breeding farms in the Balkan country, forcing the vet authorities to call over, look at this, 130,000 pigs. Now, as I have stated so many times on my videos when I'm giving you the updates, there are many reasons why the birds, fish, and the animals are dying. One of the reasons is diseases. And of course, Jesus, in the book of Matthew, in the book of Luke, in the book of Mark, talks about the last days diseases, pestilence, not just human pestilence, but when he talks about diseases, it can affect anything, birds, fish, or animals. And we're seeing diseases wipe out mass numbers, and in this case, pigs. Now this article over Bloomberg on the 8th, one billion animals now fear dead in Australia's wildfires. And when you go over there, you can play a video that they have on their site showing you some of the areas that have been burned, showing you some of the animals that have been burned, some of them dead, some of them are being treated for their burns. But it says, as many as a billion animals have been killed in Australia's wildfires since September, a scientist said, doubling his earlier estimate as the unprecedented scale of crisis in the world's driest inhabited continent continues to emerge. It also says we're probably looking at what climate change may look like for other parts of the world in the first stages in Australia at the moment, said Dickman. 
a professor in ecology in the School of Environmental Science, said in a statement on the university's website, noting events like this may hasten the extinction process for a range species. It's a very sad time. So, like I said, one of the reasons why animals die off are diseases. Another reason why climate change, massive droughts, lack of water, intense heat. Now, if you know Bible prophecy, you'll know that the Lord Jesus Christ, again, back in Matthew chapter 24, in Luke 21, in Mark chapter 13, he talks about he talks about droughts, he talks about pestilence. So those are the newest reports that have come in, and I can assure you there's going to be a lot more of these same types of reports in 2020 just like they have been over these many years that I've been keeping track and being able to show the people who are coming to my YouTube videos and my website each and every one of these reports. Now, in the case of Australia, keep in mind also that in the book of Revelation, Jesus talks about the intensity of the heat, the scorching of people in the last days. And there's been drastic changes going on on this earth that have caused in many places major droughts as we see in this case in Australia and one of the effects of these major droughts happens to be the forest burning up and unfortunately in this case about a billion animals which is an astronomic number for animals dying off in mass numbers because of the fires so please subscribe to my YouTube channel or go over to my website and keep an eye on with me as we go through 2020 because I will be exposing the last day signs that will show without a doubt that this generation is going to see the return of the Lord Jesus Christ. Just like Jesus said in Matthew chapter 24 starting in verse 32, Going down into verse 37, he talks about the fig tree, which is the nation of Israel, when that was going to be born. That would be the generation that will not pass away until all these things take place. And I believe this is why we're seeing an increase of reports like this as we get closer and closer to the Lord's second coming. Now, once again... You can go get my book today for free at either one of my websites. Click the link right here. The book will download today for free. And when you get to my website, when you scroll down, for example, and you click the link, it's going to take you right over to the report that I'm talking about so that you know I'm not making this up. These are reports that are coming in continually showing us like in this case the red tide kills leaders indian river shores beaches with 60,000 dead fish police say that's just an example now if you have any questions at all you can email me you'll see my email address right there fjdemora at gmail.com go ahead and email me and i'll do my best to answer your questions as fast as i can Thank you for coming to my website, my YouTube channel, and God bless.